Average intensities are one criterion for distinguishing stained cancerous lymph nodes from healthy ones. We are studying the use of a physically based segmentation algorithm called SNAKES to outline lymph nodes in CT scan slices and to determine their average intensity. With the SNAKES algorithm, we can interactively sketch an outline. The algorithm then smooths the contour and adjusts its position to coincide with places of maximal response from an edge detector. Users can adjust the outline interactively as necessary. The picture in the left corner displays a 100 by 100 pixel slice through the lymph node. The picture below shows the Sobel edge image. The snake contour is overlaid on both images. We use a suite of interactive data exploration tools to study how the generated outline depends on the edge detector. As a first step, we probe various intensities in the CT image. The cursors between the two windows are linked so that moving the cursor on the lymph data affects the cursor position on the edge image and vice versa. To provide an overview of the intensity variations and the edge strengths, we display the data from a selected region as two terrain maps. Dark pixels are shown as low-lying valleys, bright pixels are shown as high peaks or plateaus. The top right terrain map shows the lymph node as one large mountain. Interestingly, there is a rather smooth transition from the bright lymph data to the surrounding dark areas. Counter to our intuition for computing the average intensity, there is no clearly defined plateau with sharply decreasing edges around it. Thus, there is no uniquely correct location of the lymph boundary. The terrain map illustrates that our current snake is positioned in the middle of the edge ramp, since the Sobel edge detector approximates the image gradient and thus is maximal where the slopes are the steepest. When the user moves the snake interactively to include some darker lymph data, the snake is pulled away from the edge maxima. Merging the two terrain maps, we can get a more immediate understanding of the relationship between the intensity profile and the resulting edges. In another set of windows, we can inspect individual pixel values. This view helps investigate particular image properties in detail, while the terrain maps provide an intuitive, more general overview of the data. Altogether, the displays illustrate that the intended computation of the average intensity value for the lymph data is critically dependent on the boundary detection heuristic. Our visualization tools can be used to explore a suite of different edge operators approximating the first or second derivative of the image data to determine which arrangement suits the lymph data best and why.